So sometimes you hear a lot that the people say there is something wrong with the equipment, the camera or the lens or something because they don't get the pin sharp focus on the photos every time that they need it. So I decided to make a test of that and with a few of the students that I've got. There's some lenses that they say don't work and maybe some of them say that the camera don't work. Um, it must be the equipment that's faulty. Okay, so I've done this. It's a focus test chart. There it is. I will put it in the description uh, below, in the, co in the comment section, and then you can download it. I will make it a downloadable link so that you can download it and print it for yourself. And you can go and stick it up there. It doesn't matter on a cupboard or wherever it's... Um, for your convenience. I've already put it on there, so it's my eye level almost there with that little uh, line there. That's the line that must be in focus when you take the shot. So what we are going to do, let me just put this down. What we will do is, you take the lens that you think the problem is, put it on the camera and you keep it hand out and you focus on this, there's three little dots there. You will focus on that with one focus point and then you will see if that is in focus. You can see these little numbers there. And so this line should be in focus or the on the dots that you can uh, focus in with one focus point. Don't use all the focus points there is. Then you can see these little numbers there, the two or the four or the six. So then you can use that to make sure that is pin sharp and you know it's not the equipment if or it's not you. I will do a test there and focus there because I will put it on the tripod and I will do it hand out. Because if it's me that got the shakes then it will not be in focus. But if you put it on the tripod and then you can focus in on that and it's sharp then you know it's you. Okay? So I will focus there with my midpoint focus point. And if it's in focus, then we know it's not my lens or the camera. It's, we uh, rule out that it's that. And then I will pay, uh, take my focus point and put it there. And you will see the difference in the two shots. So make sure you've got your, fo your camera on a tripod. And you make sure that you uh, do the uh, same settings, same everything. And you do it handheld. And then you can see for yourself if it's... Um, you or the equipment. This sheet is actually for micro adjustments for your lens. I know it's not for the correct reason we use this, but it works perfectly. So you can rather do that and use this, um, but it's not for the micro adjustment. This is just a shortcut version to use this uh, test sheet. Okay? So um, for all the haters out there, just go on with your lives. This is the easiest way for somebody to just see is it the equipment or is it not. That's why we make this video. Okay, so I will go to my tripod quickly and I will do that uh, test shots. Before I do that, and you can see the difference be between the test shots, um, your settings can be anything you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you use the widest aperture. Use the widest number that you've got. Um, I will be on a f2.8 with this lens. I will do it zoom back and zoom out everything I will do it like this. This is 1755. I will do it on all the settings. So I know if I zoom into something or zoom out to something it will be in focus or it will be not in focus. So wherever you've got the problem you can do that. Okay so here I will put my camera on my tripod. There it is. I've already put it this, the correct height so that I can save the time for the video but um, the main reason for this is you will begin anything, it doesn't matter begin with it, zoomed in, zoom back, it doesn't matter as long as you do everything um, now I will do it quickly like this the focus point is in the, on the middle line and I will take my photo and I will zoom in also and it's still on the middle line and I will take my photo so that will at, at least tell me now on the tripod if it is focused or not so I will show you quickly what that looks like what you're supposed to see 
you can check at the back of the screen. Let me just zoom in quickly. So then you can see that that line is sharp. If it was not, then obviously there's a problem with something. Either I've, I've bumped my camera or something went wrong. So, but this is fine, even if for the other one. When you go to the top, it's a little bit more out of focus. You can see that word focus is a little bit more out. Okay, so what I do now is that focus point that was in the middle. I've changed it now to the top. Um, I used my, let me quickly see, the most top one. And I will focus there. And take the shot. So now, the word focus is supposed to be in focus uh, on the test sheet and not my line. Because that is where I focus and that's how I can uh, see for myself if I've done it correctly or not. So let me quickly show you what that looked like. Okay, so let me zoom in here. And then we can go to that focus, the word focus there on top. And that is supposed to be in focus. Now that you've done that, you can, the lens was the whole time on autofocus. Now you can put it on manual focus as well and use the focus ring to get focus and see if you can do, uh, get a correct focus if you do it yourself with the manual focus, okay? Then you know you've got it covered always, but on all the ways, uh, on your tripod. And then obviously, you are supposed to take it off and take your tripod away. And you will then shoot the same thing that you've done now, zoomed in, zoomed out, everything that you've done on manual focus and autofocus, but handheld. And then if you've got that different tests that you've got, um, you can see which one is not in focus. I think then you will have a, a better understanding is it the equipment that's faulty or is it maybe you that um, have the jitters or something and you can't keep the camera still. If it's not the equipment, then at least you know you have to try and get yourself to keep your equipment steady. And I think that will help a lot. Otherwise you went to the shops and I think it's a waste of time if it's maybe you and not the equipment. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I will leave the link for that uh, focus test uh, sheet for you down in the description. Um, you can download it, print it out, put it on a cupboard or wherever is comfortable for you. You don't even have to worry about lighting or use that because you only want to see the focus of everything. And you can like it if you want to. Thank you very much for watching.